So with 2019 done with, seeing one of the biggest lands open in recent years in Hollywood Studios, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, new hotels with thousands of new rooms, new attractions and shows along with the new skyline. 2020 is gearing up and set to be a cracking year. We can now ask ourselves one of the most important questions on people's minds. Do we go to Disney World this year or do we go to Disney World next year for its 50th anniversary? Hi guys, Dave here at Disney D Vlogs. 2020 has finally arrived and we are all getting very excited for the future at Disney World. And with new hotels, attractions and restaurants opening over the course of this three year development project, all we really want to know is, shall we actually go to Disney World this year or next year? So let's dive right into the deep end and see what is coming this year and next to help you decide what year will be best for you. We will start over at Epcot, the park that's in its biggest state of transition right now and for the foreseeable future. The front of Epcot is half behind walls as the new park entrance project inches forward and the central spine of Future World between Spaceship Earth and World Showcase has more walls as the Interventions is in the process of being demolished. Throughout 2020 the scope of this project will continue to grow with temporary walkways acting as a bypass around Spaceship Earth and the centre of the park. The work here is currently the largest construction project at Walt Disney World which results in a lot of visual light to the front of Epcot. The massive redesign will eliminate Future World and replace it with three new neighbourhoods including a three level festival centre. This has already resulted in a sea of construction walls at the front of the park with more to come over the course of 2020. Walt Disney World hasn't yet announced a timeline for this project but we don't anticipate it being done until 2022. Walt Disney World has confirmed that Spaceship Earth will be reimagined during this time but details of when it will close or the closure's duration have not yet been announced and the overall could begin as early as 2020. Also in Epcot, there's a trio of new films that will debut on January 17th, 2020, two of these in World Showcase and the other in Future World. In Future World, Awesome Planet will showcase in the Land Pavilion. This is a 10 minute short film showcasing the Earth's beauty and diversity, consisting of theater effects and an original musical score from the Academy Award winning composer Stephen Price. Next, Canada Far and Wide Circle Vision 360 debuts in World Showcase's Canada Pavilion. While technically not new, Disney has also stressed that this is an update to the previous O Canada film, given that it will feature new hosts and narration by actors Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy. It's likely to be fairly different and Canada Far and Wide in Circle Vision will also have new scenes and new musical score by Canadian composer Andrew Lockington. Finally, Beauty and the Beast Sing Along in World Showcase's France Pavilion will play in rotation with Oppressions de France, which will receive an upgrade to a 4K projection. This is directed by Don Han, who also produced the animated live action Beauty and the Beast films. Beauty and the Beast Sing Along features narration from Angela Lansbury, who played Mrs. Potts in the original Beauty and the Beast franchise. Also opening in Future World, we have the Space 2020 restaurant. Currently, Walt Disney World has not officially released a date for the opening yet, but we can expect this to be opening no later than February. A few details on the Space 2020 restaurant. It will begin by you stepping into a special space elevator that will take you 220 miles above the Earth's surface, offering breathtaking celestial views. Guests will then dock next to the Century Space Station, suspended just beyond the orbit of Mission Space. Sticking with France Pavilion, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure will be opening, including some shopping facilities and some new restaurants. Also new to Epcot this year, for those of you that use the Disney Parks mobile app, Disney's DuckTales World Showcase Adventure. This will invite guests to join Scrooge McDuck, Donald, Launchpad, Webby and the nephews in search of Princess Treasure. Using this app, guests can take a trip around World Showcase discovering exotic destinations, exciting mysteries and maybe even cross a few thieves, villains and supernatural guardians of ancient artifacts along the way. 
Heading over into Disney's Hollywood Studios now, the upcoming Mickey Shorts Theatre will show an original short film in the style of the popular Disney Channel's animated series, Mickey Mouse. The Mickey Shorts Theatre will also offer a photo op in addition to the film. Also new, coming to Toy Story Land, is Roundup Rodeo Barbecue Restaurant. It's no surprise that this is going to be anticipated. Toy Story Land has done really well since its opening back in April of 2018 and this will be no exception. This themed restaurant will be themed around a barbecue with Andy and all his toys. So make sure you join them at the entrance where Woody stands real real soon. So that's it guys, that wraps up the main portion of 2020 openings at Walt Disney World, or for what at least we know about anyway. I'm pretty sure there'll be more opening and closure information real soon, but if you'd like to stay up to date with all the latest in Disney D vlogs, hit my channel, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and we will get it to you as soon as possible. Stay tuned for part 2 as we will discuss 2021 openings, some tips and tricks and whether or not it will be worth for you to go this year or next year to Disney World. Thanks ever so much for watching today's vlog, make sure you join us on our next adventure. Thanks guys.